me great pleasure to be able to come and uh, vibrate your atmosphere with my voice. Of course, uh, every time I do this, there is always a degree, um, you know, perhaps difficulty when we are speaking through an instrument such as this. We are never quite uh, able to reproduce for you the sound of our voice when on the earth, perhaps to an absolute 100% degree. But we do our best. Yes. It all depends on how much energy we can build up around the voice box of the medium. It also depends, of course, uh, dear sister, on uh, the quality of the uh, medium himself. And uh, I can assure you that uh, Douglas is uh, sufficiently adept. Uh, he has had a long and continued uh, term of development over the many years that he has been in this work. And of course this uh, wonderful work with spiritualism uh, for many years I tried, of course, very hard uh, to bring about the truths into the earth world when I was alive, as one may say, in your world. Uh, I uh, had some difficulties in my life from time to time, and uh, I will be quite frank with you that at times I did feel uh, quite sad and, and lonely that um, things were not moving, one may say, uh, as I would have liked. Um, but of course I was brought into this work also by a wonderful series uh, and sequence of events that uh, led me into the pathways of, the, of truth in this great spiritualism. Of course, in my time I saw it as a wonderful philosophy and I did present to the people at that time the truths uh, of the spirit into several different groups. Uh, I wrote, of course, many things about this work, and uh, I was ridiculed, of course. Uh, uh, many times I was ridiculed for it, but I had an innate faith that all would be well, and that I was speaking the truth, because I did have the advantage at the time of many wonderful physical mediums who were able to bring uh, some proof to me uh, at that particular time. Um, and of course I lost my dear son Kingsley. Um, he was um, in the war, of course, the 1418 war. But of course he, he did not die on the battlefield. Um, but unfortunately, uh, he was wounded, and uh, he suffered from uh, a type of uh, lung condition you know as uh, pneumonia. And we brought him home and uh, to convalesce. Unfortunately, it got the better of him, and he passed into our world from memory um, October 1918, if I'm remembering this correctly. And Kingsley, of course, was a wonderful soul, and I missed him greatly. And uh, it was his passing into our world that, of course, uh, prompted me to a very great extent, one may say. Um, you know, he was my son, he was my Ben. And, uh, of course, in the, um, in the Scottish tradition, um, we refer to our family, our Ken, as Ben. And, um, you know, it was so hard for me at the time to come to terms with it, I guess, just like any other person. So many good people were coming on to our world it was during the war. And uh, I was very inspired uh, after that to uh, move around and travel around the world and uh, speak to many groups and uh, of course uh, up and down the country um, in, in, in Britain. Um, I had my difficulties at times. Uh, there were times when we, we booked um, in large town halls for instance uh, to speak on this matter of spiritualism 
and we had problems with town councils who did not agree with this and they would not let us use their halls for our meetings and so forth. And of course this went on for some time and there was quite a bit of wrangling as one may say. And uh, I, I can recall on many occasions, um, you know, we had to put ourselves through this. Uh, but we fought on, we soldiered on as one may say. And uh, we, we just had to keep going because in our hearts we knew that this great truth needed to be brought out. In fact, I referred to it at the time as the Great Revelation, and of course the greatest revelation known to man. And nothing has changed in my outlook or opinion concerning that statement that I made so long ago. And um, it seems now just like a distant memory, but uh, much of it, of course, is still very fresh in my mind. And uh, dear sister, one thing uh, I might say that we, we don't lose that as we come over. We have our spirit mind, our memory is intact, which of course is, is wonderful. Our personality uh, it does not change to a great degree the moment you leave your world. And it, uh, you carry this with you too. And of course as you evolve and move into the greater spheres of light and life, it may be possible, of course, that you lose some of your earthly personality because it, of course, is no longer required. And you become, as we may say, the essence of pure spirit. But no one is there to push you along and say, look, you have to go here or go there. It is very much up to yourselves in the first instance. And so when we come over, some people, of course, are very confused. Some of them are somewhat uh, uncertain about the great change that has taken place uh, within them. And uh, these are the ones, of course, that we try to do our best with and bring them to some form of understanding uh, exactly what is going on with them. And uh, some of them uh, can be quite difficult, as you can imagine. I remember once, um, uh, we went to a place in, uh, called Leeds in Britain, I'm sure you all heard of this city, and uh, that was one of the occasions when perhaps uh, we, they would not let us use the hall. And uh, after some wrangling and so on from different ones, uh, they finally agreed uh, to allow us uh, to go on and um, produce our presentation for the people. And of course the crowds were huge. Uh, due to my literary uh, works, uh, I was quite well known yeah. at that particular time. And I think of course some people just came to have a look at me. See if perhaps, uh, you know, Arthur Conan Doyle looked like in the flesh, as we may say. But of course uh, I was more concerned with what I had to say to them. And uh, uh, you know, this is what was important to me, personally. Um, it was at a time, I can recall, when we went to this particular place, uh, the town hall in Leeds, I had received a very sad and distressing um, note to the effect that my son Kingsley was uh, almost passing away. And um, I can remember at the time, uh, my friends and so on who were with me um, did not want me to go ahead and um, produce that presentation for the people. But I felt in my heart that I did not want to let anyone down. And so I, I went ahead and, and did this. And uh, the next uh, day, the very next evening, we had another uh, call to go to and produce our presentation again. And uh, just prior to uh, going out onto the platform, uh, as it were, I received a telegram to say that uh, my son Kingsley had passed away. And once again, my friends uh, said, uh, Arthur, you, you don't need to do this, you know. Uh, but I still felt I must, and I did not um, want them to know, and I uh, sought an assurance from them that they would not mention this uh, prior to me coming out onto the platform. It was difficult for me, but at the same time, 
uh, I am sure his love and his energy brought forth uh, a power within me that made me even more determined, one may say, um, to bring about uh, a, a very successful evening. And of course, some of my memories, I, uh, they are all gone now. Uh, not much remains. And of this, I'm, I'm quite pleased, and I'm able to bring back certain points for you from time to time to, to let you know that this is Arthur speaking to you. Um, I must shortly move on because uh, uh, being uh, given the hurry up, as it were, from somebody here who's in control of this uh, whole affair. But I do wish to leave you with my love, and we do love you. Uh, both collectively and individually, there are many souls here who have come this evening to wish you all the best. And uh, I'm just listening, if I can, to perhaps bring 